Hey guys, we're the Disney World, and this is our first ever live review. In this video, we're going to be reviewing Disney Train and Station. The first thing that we're going to be covering in this video is the characters in this set. There are five characters in this set, including Chip and Dale, Minnie and Mickey, and Goofy. And actually, the Goofy character, and I'm pretty sure Chip and Dale and Mickey too, have never been seen before in any set. So, that's new. The first character that we're going to be covering is Mickey. Now, as you can see here, this is not your normal Mickey. In the uh, the little mini blind character bags, you had were the blind blue bag, ones. Right? Yeah, the blind bags. You had a Mickey where he it was just normal Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Mickey. And the Disney Castle, which we have over there, we're going to do a review video on that soon. He actually has a tuxedo on. And so this is obviously a railroad operator Mickey. So I, it's a really cool figure. I like his overalls. He has some cool printing on his back. I like his head, too, the head shape. Yeah. He nailed it. I, I think Lego, yeah, Lego really nailed it. This isn't, like, any kind of remake. This is exactly, like, um, the Mickeys that we've seen before the head, but it's just, yeah, it amazes me every time. It's really, it's really great. And the next character we're going to be covering is Minnie. And as you can see, Minnie has a pretty nice headpiece, just like Mickey, Minnie the Flying. And uh, her bow actually comes off, unlike Goofy's hat, which we'll show you later in the video. And, yeah, that's pretty cool. And, um... Yeah, I noticed the, the her dress is actually very soft, unlike the dress in the Cinderella castle for Minnie. And also the torso piece is different for that. And we'll, we'll probably compare the two in the, the Cinderella castle video, but I'm just going to put the bow back on there. Yeah, Minnie and, is a really nice figure in this set. Yeah. She's a great counterpart for, for Mickey. Uh-huh. The next minifigs that we're going to be covering for this set are the Chipmunk Brothers. Uh, Chip and we and chose to cover these together because they're very si similar minifigures. Not much not much uh, difference. Yeah, like my brother said, they're similar, but you can still distinguish them between each other. So let's start with Chip here. So Chip, he has some lighter uh, lighter fur at the top compared to Dale. Oh, and actually something hair. I just noticed, we'll pick up uh, Chip again, uh, his um teeth he, he actually has a missing tooth in between whereas dale's teeth are full yep yeah that's actually that's actually a good observation because so as you can see here uh so dale i mean chip he has two teeth and, yeah he has two teeth and well i think they both have two teeth it's just, just dale's like, are separate yeah dale's are, i mean no dale's are are together this is dale and then chip is uh yeah, and guys, separate. even though we know the tricks and how to tell them apart, it's, it's still confusing. We yeah. always end up mixing them And around. a good way to tell them apart is Chip has a red nose. And his fur is a little bit lighter. But, but the red nose is a little bit more noticeable, so you don't really need to know the light. And for, uh, whereas, uh, lighter for whereas Dale, he has a smaller black, black, uh, black nose with some uh, darker brown uh, fur up here. Uh -huh. For Dale, we ha he, has like the, he has like a conductor suit with a chain in the middle, kind of like Chip. And for the not not much back printing, as you can see, it's good. But it's actually, like on on Chip, if you can pick him up for me, he um, on his back, he has a, a belt. So this is actually, I, if you didn't know this, but Chip is more playful and uh, he's more lenient, I guess. Whereas uh, Dale, he's more serious, but he still is playful because they are chipmunks. And you notice he has like a straighter face because he his, his teeth are not apart and his nose isn't red. He looks more like a chipmunk. Is what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah, whereas Dale has, I mean, Chip has, like, a beaming smile. But mm -hmm. um, the the outfits really reflect their character because Dale is wearing the full suit, right? That's why you can't, and on I the back printing, you can't see the belt. Whereas Chip, he just has this incomplete suit where he doesn't have the, the jacket and he has these his white sleeves coming out. And I think I, I uh, we've seen this, we've seen these figures before in, um... Uh, Lego minifigure blind bags. I'm not sure which series, but I think we've seen them before. But this time they have a conductor suit, of course, because they go with the Disney train station. Exactly. And in the blind bag, they actually so imagine this without a suit and just a normal chipmunk. That's how it was. But it came and it, uh, they, they were individual characters. But these conductor suits are a really nice addition to the uh, Lego Disney lineup. Okay, now let's move on to the next character. The next uh, minifigure that we're going to be covering for this set is Goofy. Now, my brother here is super excited, and he's going to be telling you about Goofy, because Goofy's his favorite Disney character. And so, the Fab Five for Disney characters are Goofy, uh, Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and Pluto. However, Daisy can be switched, missed, and... Uh, switched. With switched, her. yeah, switched for uh, Pluto, so she can be part of the Fab Five. But for some reason, um, 
Goofy wasn't included in Cinderella Castle, which we were kind of disappointed about as Goofy's like one of our, our favorite characters and my brother's favorite character. And we were really happy when he got um, yeah, and included he, in the he's, set. He's exclusive to the set. So, yeah, it, it's pretty hard to, like, to buy him anywhere else. So now my brother's going to go into the intricacies of Goofy. Now, one thing I'm pretty disappointed about, I, I like this character overall. He has a really nice head shape. This is um, very accurate. He's probably one of my favorite characters in terms of head shapes that I've ever seen in uh -huh. any Legos. Because Except I'm just a little bit disappointed his uh, hat doesn't come off. Yeah, I am too. However, like any Lego, even like minor Lego fans would know this. Little pieces like that are kind of bound to get lost. They would probably include an extra, but you're just yeah. most likely to throw that out. So, uh, yeah, it is kind of disappointing, but it's also a plus side because it doesn't come off. Because, like, if you're, let's say you're playing with this set and you're playing with Goofy, I mean, who are you really going to take the hat off for any reason, right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And then, as you can see here, we have some patches on his on uh, his uh -huh. blue pants. And, I, um, yeah, and the shoe, I, I guess these are supposed to represent shoes, so it's nice. And you've got some back printing here, so very similar to the front printing. And then the, the two teeth, which have, this this head has really good texture, by the way. It, uh, there, I don't know if we can see this on camera, but there's like these ridges. You can see my finger in, in it now. Yeah, like the wrinkles in his nose. And they have some uh, nice eyes. And then... Well, not on his nose, actually, on his snout. Yeah. Goofy's a dog, by the way, in case you were wondering. Yeah, so we have... And then on the back, we, we already showed the back printing, but we have these ears, which are also have some nice texture. Uh -huh. They pop out like that. So overall, we're really excited. Out of all the figures in this set, I'd have to say that the ones that I'm, I was really most excited about when buying this set is Mickey, because he has this new outfit, and Goofy. You guys will be excited for this one. The next thing that we're going to be covering in this set is the train. The set is called the Disney train and station. So, so as you would expect, there's a train. And I can actually drive, and I'll show you guys that right now. It can go like pretty, like pretty slow, like this or this, but it can go pretty fast and maintain it for a long time. And so, as you can see, the coal car actually it serves as the motor and the battery, and you put some batteries in there and connect it up. And, and then actually, the, the stop is almost immediate, so that's impressive. And uh, and there, there's some actually cool sounds that can go along with it, so I'll play those. There's a bell, a whistle. Some music. We're going to show you guys a screen recording of the app right now. Now, the first part of the Disney train we're going to be covering is the first train car, and this where the steam would blow out on top and, um, and the real uh, classic steam train. And there's a little one in the front. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to represent uh, it was the first train in Disneyland. Or it could represent this is the first uh, part of the train, like the train car. And um, as you can see, there's this uh, nice bell here. And we're going to get a close up on that. Yeah. So this is, I've never seen a bell like this. Uh -huh. Very nice design. It, and there's these little details that make Lego so great. Yeah. We have a, we have some whistles over here. Yeah. We have um we have so in this we have this little room in here where it's not much where, of a room. You can't yeah. really stand in there, but it's better than nothing. You can so put Mickey some the Lego engineer. Don't in have an interior. And you might see some dust, and this is because this set has so many little so, intricacies, yeah, intricacies so and details. So like hard. trust us, we tried to dust this set before, but you do some parts that you can't get in with your average duster. So we decided we decided that we just tell you guys about it and just leave it like this. We have a, a little light at the top. Um, if you guys want to see the mechanism of how it actually uh, how it actually works, it kind of just the the this thing moves the tire, and yeah, just I like mean the wheel, train. the wheel, yeah, just like a real train operates, just, just like, like a real cool, train. The cool car, which we'll uh, talk about uh, actually right now, because yeah, and um, this is where the train is powered, and uh, um, yeah, that's, that's that's where the train gets its power usually. And it's actually where the Lego set gets its power too. It's like um. I don't know if we can take it off, but... Uh, yeah, so it's this little flap. You press the button. It's lighting up blue because we have it on right now. Press the button. It's Bluetooth. And we're using a, and our, I'm, my I'm brother's sure iPad. It's, it's a Lego, um, Lego powered up hub, right? And yeah. You, and, and and you press this little button. It connects to Bluetooth. And you can see there's a wire here that you have to cram in there. And yeah. 
nice uh, sticker around here. You can tuck the wire in, so it's, it's not it's, it's su very, super it's noticeable. Very, it's very durable. Yeah, this is what powers the train. So like, maybe we'll include a clip later of the video of just this thing on the track, because it flies because there's not all the weight to it's carry. So fast. Maybe, maybe we'll save that for end. For so that. basically, so the, the mechanism that this serves as is. It's pushing because this is in the back. If you want the whole train to go backward, it you would just flip it around. Pull, so it's very powerful. So as you can imagine, wh wh when you wh when you run it on the track without anything else, it goes super fast. And we'll show that at the end of the video is a little something. Yeah. So basically, it pushes this car. I mean, this uh, the, yeah, this train car. Which is and then it hard, pulls it's heavy. This and one over here. It still pulls all like uh, these ones, which are even heavier. And this is perhaps one of the most iconic parts of this Disney train. We're going to be covering the uh, the normal passenger car. Now, obviously, on the real train, uh, it uh, the real train in real life, it does There's multiple of these. Yeah, but for the Lego purposes, which I understand why they did this, they have a lot. It would have taken yeah. up, like, the whole track that they yeah. provided. And so you put you put figures in there. As you can see, some seats, which have some studs well, on it. Actually, a lot of seats, surprising amount, compared to the first class cabin. Which we'll yeah, I think about. overall, doing a rough count, I think there's 14 seats. And there's like, this is uh, built by like the base, and then you add up these walls here, and yep. the support beams, and then on top, there's a roof, and there's these little flaps that move up and yeah, down. Yeah, that's so you can put the characters in there with ease. So this yeah. is a really good build. I think that's a cool feature. A lot of sets don't have that. The reason, and the reason we know so much about the infrastructure this of this we car. we rebuild it. So many times, because we are other little Disney bro. He comes in here and breaks it all the time. So, yeah, this is some steps for the characters. Um, we, I, what so, I do not like about this is there's this little exposed yellow piece. Actually, it's I think that's a detail. It's meant to yeah. be like a caution tape. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think it would be, too. Because I don't, I don't, Lego doesn't usually make mistakes like that where they expose things. Yeah, so this is a really nice train car. We have the bottom here with some. So yeah, these, very, very these are rotating. Bottom. And then we have these magnet pieces. Yeah, I think pieces. we were right about the caution tape because, as you can see uh, down here, if we can get a close up over here, it, um, they they could have chose like a red piece for here and it would have blended right in. Yeah. So this is an overall really cool car and a really cool train car. So yeah, this is this is one of our favorite parts of the train, and we're we we're, we've been really excited to cover this for a really long time. Okay, now the um, next train car we're going to be covering is the, actually last train car we're going to be covering, is the first class cabin. And some nice labels on here, some uh, details over here. And it says Disney uh, Railroad, and uh, actually Disney right here. I'm not sure what those number 106 means. Yeah, but... there's a lot of little details that even as Disney lovers, it's kind of hard to figure yeah, out. Yeah, and... Uh, there's, you can see there's these doors that open up here, and there's a caboose. There's so actually, the we'll we'll get into the reason of why we have we have it this way. But it, when you're actually putting it on the track, we advise that. So we have the other train over here. You put it kind of like this because, in case the engineer conductor has to get to the other side or any passengers, this is kind of like an open little space they can use with the footstool over. I mean the steps over here. Whereas this is kind of like a railing that you look out on where, yeah. and it says. Uh, Disney because like here. as you can see um over here there's like this uh this little um staircase down to here so if you put it over here it's a little bit easier to get down to the staircase and then to the um passenger cabin and compared to this where it's just closed off so now the next part of this that we're going to be covering is, is the interior, the interior. and, and yeah. this is actually pretty rare a lot of lego sets open from the top but i find this a lot more convenient so it actually opens from the sides we have like a, this cool side piece here which uh, you can you saw from the exterior, it's really cool. It has some detail. And, and and one thing I don't like about this though is is that comes off a lot when you're holding it. Like like I I don't know if you noticed, but we were holding it before and it came off. But but yeah. it's not that bad. I still like the system. Yeah, it's only held on so from two studs and stud. I mean, it's a, what do you expect? Yeah. But it's and, a really cool and system. And so we have some nice seats in here. We have the two normal seats and then we have the circle seat and um some flowers, n nice detail, nice design, uh, and a teapot and a teacup. So. That's pretty much all we have to show for the interior of the set. No, but uh, one other thing I want to say is we have some basic generic chairs over here. But this chair is really cool. It's like a circle, and then it, it can like almost like rotate because it's on one of the uh, nice yeah. golden piece over here. And the interior, we you don't you it would take a detective to figure out that that this is the first class because it's a lot nicer than just versus this one. It has just seats. This one drinks flowers. Well, not yeah, drinks flowers. Um, some Jeez. cushion seats. A red carpet. Uh, and there's a lot less seats, and usually there's a lot less first class space in a, uh, and, um, real first class. 
And guys, before we move on to the um, the train station, we want to show you how fast the little coal car can go by itself without any of the extra cars. And let's begin. So this is max speed. It is zooming. Yeah. Yeah, it's just really fascinating to watch. It's a lot slower at max speed than... And actually, a fun game you can play is you can put your finger here and try to move it right at the exact time. <laughs> yeah, it is really fun. Um, It's a lot because it doesn't have to push and pull. It doesn't have to push uh, this car right here. And it doesn't have to pull the passenger and first class uh, cabins. It's a lot faster. So right now it's going at a slower pace. But if my brother picks up the pace on the Lego app... It's going really fast now, so we just, that was a cool thing that we wanted to show you guys. Yeah. And it, it doesn't even fall over, so it's awesome. And uh, guys, of course the set is called the Disney Train and Station, so we have to cover the station. And it's very detailed, a lot of intricate detail we're going to go over, so this might take a long time. So starting from the bottom here, we have these little one stud slots for the characters. Getting up close on that. Sorry, boo -boo. We had the characters before. Nice little door that you can e easily and open and close. These, um, these lights over here that are made of clear mini thick heads. Yeah, and then we have. And I think the lanterns are too. Glasses. Get a close up on these lanterns. Yeah, we have the we have these nice glass pan pieces right here, uh -huh. and those are actually they're 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 clear like all Lego glass pans obviously, and it provides a nice view on the inside, so you can see the reception desk there. Okay, so let's do the eye catching spot in the center. It says Disney Station. Now, for the real thing, it doesn't say Disney Station. It actually just says Disneyland. Um, but for whatever reason, it says on on just in this set in general, it calls it the Disney Train, the Disney Station. However, this particular train station is only in the Disney the Disneyland uh, train station. The Disney World one is is different. Now up here we have these nice little. Um, uh, dormers that come out with these nice, um, uh, these these lined windows, and if we can uh, get a look up here, um, like you you'd think these are like normal railings, but um, if we get like a top view of it, um, they're actually they're actually handcuffs uh, that are positioned in a certain way that look like railings. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, and then as we come up here, we have these flags, Mickey head. And a Disney logo. Now, this is kind of interesting to us as Disney fans because we know that in the normal train station at Disneyland, it just has a, a some USA flags. It doesn't have, it doesn't say Disney in the Mickey, so yeah. that's interesting. And also, like on every other part of the set, uh, it says uh, Disney instead of Disneyland, even though this is Disneyland train station, which we have no idea why, but it doesn't really affect you. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So it doesn't affect us that it, does, it doesn't say Disneyland, so it doesn't really matter. We have a nice balcony here with a glass see-through door, a nice clock, and it goes to this tower, this little tower over here, and the sides aren't really interesting, some lamps. So, yeah, just some windows, and yeah. I think it's time to move on to the interior. Starting off here on the bottom level, we have the reception desk. Sorry, it's a little bit dusty, but again, it's really hard to get in between the studs here. Yeah, no dusters are really that small. Yeah, so there's a ticket sign here with some prices. Um, uh, you can see that, um, like, uh, a, a Disney Railroad, uh, uh. Oh, and you can see yeah. Chip's head, or Dale's head, or yeah. I don't know, which, I don't know which one's possible to help in the back. Um, there's a, a flower pot here, which is identical to the one, the first, yeah. first clap. I bet there's in other Lego sets, too, if it's twice in this set. And then some design. tickets right here. Okay, now this park bench we have over here, you might, rec you'll rec probably recognize it from the park. Um. You'll recognize its significance because it, so it, it's very wooden. Significance. Yeah, it, it's from, so Walt Disney, when he was thinking of Disney World, watching his daughter on a carousel, he was thinking of an amusement park daughters. that everyone, yeah, his daughters, everyone that he, everyone that would enjoy, like adults, kids, and also one that was, that um. employees would enjoy, and the yeah. employees were like kind of people, because like, that's, that's not usually the case with amusement parks. Yeah, so the, yeah, and it was well capped, that's what he was dreaming of, and he, he did that on this very event. So this is kind of where Disneyland started. So they have that in the train station. Yeah. Um, and let's move over to this side. So on this side, we have this nice train. Nice view. Like a door. Um, and then as you can see with like that, that poster there. 
with that poster there. It's like a it's a picture of the train that has display here. And I don't, that train is not exactly like the one in the set. Yeah, it's pretty close. Um, then let's go over to this side now. Okay, so over on this side, we have a nice light, this cool garbage can, um, this chandelier that spins. Um, and the garbage can, I believe, does it open? No. Um, so oh, yeah. basically, oh my, moving over to this side, guys. Um, we have this this uh, this spinning chandelier up here. This nice trash can down here. And just like the patterns we've seen in the set, the chandelier is made with uh, these. clear minifigure heads. Yeah. And then we have this these two clocks over here, one on the ground and one up on the wall. This uh, poster says, "A wonderful way to travel." Jump aboard main station with a door right here. Um, and an umbrella like holder over here with with in th these kind of Lego umbrellas. And then up here we have the this poster, a poster of a train. And guys, this has nothing to do with the Lego set, but Walt made the Disneyland train station because he really liked trains. It's yeah. Funny out there. That's why there's a lot of train posters here too. Mm -hmm. And then the other poster is this monorail poster. Now the monorail in Walt Disney World and Disneyland, um, it's uh, they we think it's a teaser for a monorail at Lego. It, it's probably very unlikely though because um, like I don't think they would make two vehicles in the world. There's a lot of other, uh different things they can build in the park. Yeah. Like, so this is I a really once cool. did email someone at Lego and asked if they know what the next Disney park set was going to be, and I did get maybe what could possibly be a little teaser. I asked. I think Tower of Terror would be cool, and they said. Splash Mountain would also be cool and part of their email, so. Yeah. So this this is a really cool, highly detailed bottom floor. Let's get, like, a full shot of it right here. So it's pretty cool. And you can see it's board. pretty big. Yeah. There's three different rooms. Moving on up to the top here, we have this nice chair with a teapot. It's Thank kind you. of, it's same, cushioned. Same yeah. chair as the yeah. first class. Kind of, like, down here, we have this flower pot, same one. Um, We Not have these mom. curtains. What looks like, almost like postcards right here. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. so nice, these nice, nice curtains. Nice, detailed rug with stickers. Yeah, and then the, yeah, these, like, Mickey head. Because in Disney World and Disneyland, there's a lot of rugs with hidden Mickeys inside them. This, uh, this side of the second floor, we have this nice little pie. I've never seen that design Lego before. It's pretty cool. And then another train, kind of, like, right below here. We have this train. And this Neither train also has exactly picture. like the Disneyland train. Yeah. yeah, they do have, they're very similar. But and this one down here is more like it. But this There's one, a picture on the wall. A little yeah, bit. so this and, one is kind of like a and a little nice balcony that goes out too. I don't yeah. know if I can open this door, but yeah, you yeah, can't really it open it because inside, yeah. yeah, yeah. And the ba it will just the balcony will just block it from opening. It's a small balcony. Probably can't even put a figure on there. Yeah. So um, this this is a really cool floor. There's a lot of details, just like the second one. Especially I like this carpet. The carpet is really cool. It's got yeah. a full shot of and that. And I like the curtain design. Yep, it's a really cool floor. And guys, we want to leave off on a good note by showing you what um, was probably my favorite Easter egg in the set full of Easter eggs, especially in the interior. And uh, it's um, the Lego the Disney Castle model, the Cinderella Castle. So you can see there's the um, yeah, there's oops, there's the Lego box. There's a box. Yeah, you, just, you put it in. And cool no bat but yeah and cool. even on the real set it says 16 plus and it says that in the yeah on the lego box like the mini lego version it says the set number that's pretty cool then the most the coolest part of all is the actual lego model mm -hmm. has this tall gold spire the cream colored tower the um the thing in the middle right here and we'll actually do a review we have the set like the full size version so yeah. we'll do a review on that yeah so it's a really cool easter egg that they have uh that they have this because it's the only other Disney park set. So yeah, we just thought that that was like our, our favorite part. It's in, again, it's in like the top most secret part of the tower. I kind of kind of leaves me wonder what what's in this act actually in real life. Do they use it for storage or is it like something cool? Yeah. So maybe it's just um like not. Yeah. So we space. thought that room was really cool. So it's just uh, I think we think we just want to say that this interior is so amazingly detailed. I mean, uh -huh. look at it. And you you won't it, it, the 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 Cinderella Castle for review later it doesn't fall short of that either. Yeah. So the interior on this set is amazing. And guys, one last thing we want to say: thank you for watching. Remember to remember to subscribe and see, see you real soon. soon.